so hey there welcome everyone welcome to ice group i'm shambo and this is the video where you will learn how to create and deploy patches for your unity game this is the second video in my mini series about creating an update system within your game in the first video i showed you how you can check for updates within your game now in this video you're going to learn how to to create and deploy patches over the internet and how to download them via the game this doesn't mean i'm downloading the patches from within the game but i'm gonna use an external <coughs> tool for this an external storage for this i mean it's a cloud storage so there are four steps that you're gonna do over here number one write the scripts for actually getting the download link to your patch number two create your patch number three upload it to some uh, cloud storage from where people can download it number four apply the patch so that's what we're gonna do today let's begin so I'm gonna use the existing project we used last day in the last tutorial this is it and I'm gonna commit all the changes I do in github so what is the problem with this okay I'm gonna commit every changes I do over here into github so that you can download it from the same link you did last time so let's go straight into the scripting part but before going to here let's create a few more text so let's write s for reference let's put it up a bit let's create a copy let's put another one up here this is going to be our current version text so version text I have put here SS for just reference now we're gonna create a button over here that's going to be our download button let's put it down over here let's scale it up a bit scale it up let's put it up a bit let's call it download patch and let's change the text within it call it download I have to change a few preferences animal now let's head straight in the scripting part so we need to create another int variable over here that we're going to use to set the current version using the inspector so let's go to the start player preps dot set int it's going to be version comma set version <coughs> sorry And over here we're gonna need the next step is gonna be text showing up the version number so public text version txt we're gonna set it up on start version txt dot text equal to version create this and call current version this is going to show the text over there next step we will need a button that will be a download button so it's going to be a public game object game object download button and we're gonna make sure that it is not active by default so download button dot set active false by default okay now into over here so creating a download link and adding it to a text file then we're gonna take it from the text file to unity how are we gonna do that so we will have to edit our existing text file over here but and then we will take the link from this text file within into unity 
but we can see over here that we're taking our update version and putting all the text that is there in the file into it means if we add the link that and then everything will go into this update version we don't want that to happen we will have to split the string so that we can have multiple strings one having the version another one having the link and all so let's create a string call it file data this is going to be the web request dot download handler dot text so this is going to store all the text from the text file that is stored on the internet we will press enter and we will go create an end string array right now because array so that we can store multiple strings because once we split the complete text that is there in the file we will store every single string into it into the array so string let's call it text let's call it text ar uh, and this is going to be the file data dot split and now we're going to use a character to split the data so in my case i'm going to use add the red as an example so what this is going to do is it will check the complete string and every time it sees an add the red it's going to skip the add the red and from the next character onwards it's going to come put the complete string into the second or the next element of the array so the number of add the in your text will go on to become number of add the plus one strings in the array so if we put a text link over here what we will need to do is then add the red and there's the link this is going to be it now let's go over here and change this to text r zero because the first element of the zeroth element in the array is going to be a version number because that's the very first string before the first split in our text file now over here we're going to make if like the if there's an update available we need to make sure that the button becomes active so we're going to go down the button dot set active true now we will need to figure out the link from the text file so let's create a private string over here private string patch url and I put up over here so patch url is equal to text r1 because that's going to be the second line in the string and now let's create a method for the button let's go public void download let's make this the download button method actually I'm gonna, it's already there right uh, let's call it download method and this is going to go application dot open url and we're gonna put in this string patch url and our scripts ready so let's head over to unity and assign whatever we want the script over here the version text is going to be this one and the download button is this one let's make it false and over here I'm gonna add main camera and assign the function update check downloadable method so now let's do the set version let's set it to 10 let's save it it's time we build it so let's go build settings open since have been added uh, build I'm gonna go temp let's create folder temp builds let's create folder for our first build temp zero select this folder let it get built so it's built 
let's make a few changes into our main game as for an update so let's go create a new image this is just for checking purposes I will move it to the left over here and I'm gonna set the version to 20 instead of 10 to save this scene let's go build let's create a new folder call it temp1 select this folder and let it build set got build over here now I'm done uh, let's go and right now we're gonna go create a patch so for this I'm gonna use click teams patch maker okay uh, before creating a patch let's check the version let's check the builds for once let's go ten. I'm gonna go 10 builds 10 zero I'm gonna try this one open build you're up to date okay let's close this one and now about creating the patch I'm gonna click teams patch maker this is the best free patch making tool out there okay because it has a free version and a full version there is no trial limit to the free version you can have complete full features as it's completely same as the paid version the only difference is that the free version will have a ad and a link to click teams patch maker page at the end of your setup and the full paid version won't have that so because the free version ad is not intrusive and not much of a problem I prefer that you use the free version I myself have the free version so I'm gonna go open up patch maker now there are two ways to create a patch this is a wizard that's gonna make everything easy for you and but the problem with this little wizard over here is that you can just create a patch for a specific version using this like you have version 1 2 and 3 <coughs> you cannot create a you can create a patch for version 1 2 3 and it will not work for version 2 no it won't patch version 2 to 3 for uh, patching multiple older versions to the latest version you need to use this part you can see you need to add all the old versions over here and the latest version over here but right now because we have just two builds we're going to use this wizard next up we're going to choose first the old version over here OS I'm going to 10, 10 builds and 0 this is the old version let's choose the new version One. next up here you can add what is your product name I'm going to just choose test let's go next this is you can may, uh, maybe like uh, instruction window this text field will appear before you choose your directory for the game where you want to patch it means in the actual setup window you can put up instructions over here on how to find out the directory of a game and then choose it to patch uh, right now I'm gonna just put up here test build patch system that's it this is just for test purposes this is how your setup is going to like and it's pretty self-explanatory full screen and small means window I'm going to choose small you can always preview your patch setup using this preview button these are all optional stuff after that and you can just explore it yourself and choose whatever you want and let's go to next 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 and finish now I'm gonna choose where I'm gonna build the patch I'm gonna go 10 builds I'm gonna create the patch over here and I'm gonna save this and it's done the patch has been created let's close this I'm gonna go over here and you can see here is the patch file now uploading the patch file to a cloud network I'm gonna use zippy share for myself you can use whatever uploader you want even Google Drive or anything else but the fact with Google Drive is you will need to sign in with your Google account to download it download from it uh, but zippy share is completely free and no sign in is required I'm gonna use the old HTML uploader because this new one doesn't really is I mean it's causing some problems for the last few days I'm gonna choose the file 
script and build I'm gonna go patch file and start the upload it's done here is my link I'm gonna paste it and you can see that's the, here is the page for downloading my patch I'm gonna copy the download link from right here and put it over here and see yes it's giving me the download so let's do this over here in pastemen let's edit this file let's make the version to 20 put add the to split and the download link over here let's save the changes right. that's everything we need to do right now let's go to them zero and let's play this in build mode <laughs> Okay, I cannot resolve this mission host. I cannot actually have. So I made some mistakes over in paste when I guess. Let's see, wait. Okay, so it was a problem with my internet because I basically did nothing, just closed it and started it and started working. So it says update required. I'm gonna hit the download button and it's gonna open up Opera and here's it's directly giving me the download. download. I save it and you can see here it's the patch file if I open it up I will need to stop close this go run anyway because I know what it is yes and here is my patch maker it's a test update program look next here is the instruction window and here I need to choose the directory of the older file so I'm gonna go C Ten, ten builds, ten zero. This is the one I want to patch. Okay, next and uh, start patching, and it has been patched successfully. This is the add portion. You can see uh, this is absolutely non-intrusive, and you really don't need to care about this one. Let's exit it. Let's go over here, and I have my newer version over here. Let's go to the tutorial. Let's play it. Mm, you can see version 20 you are up to date and here is my patch and here is my image well, now you can see that you have patched your game so this is how you can create a patch system that uses external tools and external download managers to download your patch and update your game so this is it this is the easiest way to maintain patches and I obviously recommend this method a little bit more after this now that you know how to make uh, patches and actually use them you might actually be waiting for my third video in the series that I've told you and the third video is going to be about creating patches and downloading them from within unity inside the game and patching your game but now this method requires the knowledge of asset bundles okay so you can create new content within a game and then just put all the assets into a single asset bundle file make unity download it within itself and extract it so that's basically how you can patch your game from within unity but this method actually has a problem that you cannot patch new scripts into a game because scripts are not stored into asset bundle files scripts are stored in an assembly assembly-c-sharp.dll file and whenever you have a new script into a game you actually change the game's exe a bit so I recommend not to wait for video 3 and check that instead you can use this method every time even if you change the script this is going to work flawlessly but if you think that you have a base game created you are never going to change any script you can obviously use the asset bundle method that I will show in the next video I expect the next video to be a bit late because I have to study a lot about asset bundles. I haven't really though. So I will have to do it. And once I do it, I will upload the video as soon as possible. Well, anyways, thanks for watching this video. I hope that you liked it. And if you liked it, please hit the like button. Share this video with your friends. And do not forget to subscribe if you are new to the channel. And once again, thanks for watching. Stay home, stay well.